August 8th is China's National Fitness Day. Have you worked out yet? The game I was playing is called Just Dance. It's very popular nowadays. It needs one of these tracking controllers in my hand. During the epidemic, motion capture games like this one actually added lots of fun to my home workouts. The COVID-19 pandemic has made it impossible for people to go to the gym. But however ferocious the virus is, it cannot dampen people's aspirations for fitness. Some have come up with smart new ways to keep working out while staying safe. Today, I'm going to show you guys what are new trends and innovations out there for your gym rats stuck at home. Zhang Dan was a world champion in figure skating. Amid the pandemic, she took her classes online. 疫情期间，我们推出了呢线上课，因为冰场不能开业，那这帮孩子就不能上冰。然后在这个过程当中，我们还要让教练员跟孩子有互动性，呃，不可以太乏味。如果要没有疫情的在的话，可能我们对于线上课还没有那么重视。希望通过我自身的这种影响力，帮助我们花样滑冰的这个事业能做得更好，然后能让更多的人来走上冰雪项目，一起参与全民健身。John is only one of many sports professionals who shared workout routines online, initiating the sports craze that sees people of all ages. In an effort to fight against the epidemic, traditional brick-and-mortar gyms had to shut their doors. As a result, virtual gyms took off. Many traditional gyms have turned digital, and gyms already offering online courses try to expand their fan base. The epidemic actually gave us a lesson, and also all of the traditional gyms have taken a step forward. It also gave us a lesson in digital gyms, and Even during the pandemic, our sales have increased, but our members' membership and our users' membership have increased by 200 and more than 200 percent. Membership is considered to be a technology company. 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 这种线上的直播课比线下的课程的好处在于，老师能够给到你更多的关注和指导。Technology makes online classes possible. The rapid development of mobile apps, social media, and smart wearable devices has completed the industrial chain for cloud fitness. The emergence of third-party cloud service providers has also made the chain more professional. 那我们这个领域呢，主要为国内的。所有的健身场馆提供基于智能软件服务、加人工智能和大数据的一套整体化的服务解决方案。通过我们这套服务呢，场馆的经营者可以和他的用户，也就是健身的这个会员啊，能够做一个很好的连接。在今年疫情最严重的时候，那么线上的一些呃健身直播以及一些健身课程的观看人数，高峰期是可达到三十万人左右。Before such third-party suppliers emerged. Only large gyms could research on or purchase these online services. Now, as the industrial chain gets in shape, smaller gyms or even individual coaches can also easily meet their customers online. One thing about working out at home is that you need to move all the fitness equipment to your home. Many fitness enthusiasts actually did it. Mr. Yu, who works as a software engineer in Beijing, is a fitness fanatic. These are all the equipment he bought during the COVID-19 pandemic. And data from JD.com shows there are many more people like you. The increase in fitness equipment sales has been astonishing. 京东大数据显示，乒乓球的练习器以及瑜伽垫的这样的一些商品呢，是得到了大众的一个喜爱，成为了今年疫情期间的一个爆款商品。那么，同时像是运动手环、运动手表，也成为了啊、呃、健身爱好者的一些标配的一些商品。像是电动车的成交额同比增长是超过了百分之四百三十。The fast growth of the cloud fitness industry is not only attributed to the needs of the public, but also strong support from the government. The General Administration of Sport of China recently initiated online services such as the National Fitness Info Platform, 
It also promoted live stream courses on Qigong exercise and launched online games encouraging citizens to challenge world champions and professional coaches while practicing at home. 云健身这也是一个运用现代科技手段来适应体育健身需求的很好的赛事活动组织方式。体育总局也是推动相关的这个赛事活动的举办。Chinese President Xi Jinping once said, "Doing exercise and keeping healthy is very important for leading a happy life." Although the epidemic has changed the way we do exercise, it hasn't reduced people's enthusiasm for fitness. I believe, with the rise of cloud fitness, there will be more ways of doing exercise with scientific and targeted services. For many of us, every day can be a National Fitness Day.